And we're live. And we're back. And we're in a car. We are in a car. Mobile stew. We're on the road. That was probably really loud. That was... He like stopped and like looked like looked around. And he, he like called over his friend. He's like, Jake, you're Danny Smart. <laughs> On this road, 155 more miles in this fucking journey. Man. I hope I, I'm hoping this sounds okay. We be better. We literally did like a two-second test, uh, so it's gonna sound how it sounds. It's good enough for jazz, as you so eloquently put. Course. Where are we? We're we're in the car. What are we what way. are we what are we doing? We're headed to Dayton, Ohio. Why? WGI 2022. For what reason? Um I teach. What's going on there? Band. You teach band still? I, well, I'm trying to get out of it, You're man. Still doing that? When was the last time we potted? It's uh, been over I, like a year. I potted this morning. Uh, it was a rough one, like three out of ten. Three out of ten, smooth. Uh, smooth but lumpy. So they call me smooth high school. surface but lumpy texture. Yeah, man, we're we're headed to Dayton. So uh, wait, wait, no, we didn't answer our question. Okay. Last time we potted must have been last summer. Oh. <laughs> this is gonna be a fun one. <laughs> so yeah, so if Eddie falls asleep at the wheel, I mean, I guess we'll know then. It's gonna be a really cool podcast. I was saying, if we get into a car accident, this is going to be really, really bad, but a really cool episode. Any last wishes? Like, this is the place to document it. I just hope I sound good. Like, the scream isn't too girly. Yeah. Yeah. That's all I got. All right, all right. So, so Dayton. Dayton, yeah. Still teaching the kiddos, huh? Yep. With pie percussion. Um, huh? We made finals, I guess. We got really? some sort of penalty at prelims? No, no way. I don't know what it was for, but we'll find out. You really don't know what it was for? I don't. I didn't text the staff. I know what it was for. Yeah, what was it? Not enough staff. <laughs> Too much staff. Not enough words. <laughs> but, I mean, congrats. Yeah. That's, that's the first time the group's made finals since 2016. Hey, represent. Yeah. Represent. I, I mean... I'm, I'm, like, trying to ask how, like, the staff feels about that, but you're not there and with them, so you don't really know. So I guess I guess we'll just move on. I mean, I'm a really proud staff member. Um, I mean, it's very nice as an alumni of the organization that, like, they're doing it again. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, it's just really cool. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, because, honestly, there was a few years in there as uh, an alumni of the organization where uh, I thought they would fold. Yeah, where truth, I was Truth watching? be told. Truth be told. <laughs> well, let's not get into specifics, <laughs> but... The thought was there because, uh, I mean, it seemed like staff was uh, pulling out yeah. and then member base also wasn't as strong as it used to be. Um, but there was definitely talks about folding in, in January this season. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I do remember that talk happening. but Like real conversations of, okay, kids keep dropping because COVID was a concern, of course. I get it. But just a lot of kids. The main um, excuse this season was, I don't know if I have time. <laughs> like... These high school kids commit into their uh, jazz bands. And they're, like, concerned about homework and things. Like, I'm telling you, you won't do homework. With this free time, you're just not going to do homework. But that was the big concern. So staff had to sit down. Do we want to try making this happen, or do we want to just fold and see you guys next season? Yeah. Thankfully, we kept going. Yeah, as an alumni, it's very cool to see. Because, like, I mean, uh, I don't, like, you don't have many opportunities to see, like, your, your group no. when you're outside of it. Especially like Pio, I never got to see Pio as an alumni, so now I get to oh, see Pi. And then when like you know when it was time for me to start enjoying the activity as a spectator, COVID happened. COVID, yeah. So I, it's like I uh, it's a new experience for me getting to see like my old groups as this a spectator. Gonna be fun. I've never done yeah. this as a spectator. I mean like I've had the free time to do it, but yeah. it's just different being a member of a group, still having to represent something and like watching lots versus I'm not really tied down. No, I agree. It's it's. I mean, I honestly have no idea what to expect because I've never been as a spectator. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, but I mean, it's 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 gonna be nice to not have to be like tied down anywhere. Oh yeah. And, like have places to be. It's like okay, I'll hurry up and go now. Stuff like that. Yep. But so like, that's what we're doing. We're I think we're in we're in Indiana right now. Hell is real. It's so we are There's in Indiana. The sign. Oh shit. <laughs> Should we be documenting what we see on the road if we see cool things? If we see some cool things, but I'm not sure what we're going to see other than, like, you know, some signs telling us that hell is real. We already know hell is real. I we're, was aware. We're in it. Yeah. We're in Diet Iowa. Diet Iowa. Windiana. Windy. But, um, I mean, in- Indiana's okay. It's not as bad as Iowa. It's not. I, there's nothing in Iowa. As someone that marched there for two summers, there's nothing in Iowa. I can't imagine doing drum corps in Iowa. Drum corps in Michigan was fun at least because like there's like a lot of cities in Michigan. Yeah, it was cool and like the weather wasn't bad. Iowa was just wet heat. <laughs> it was that was my cool. nickname in high school. Wet heat. Wet heat. Iowa. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it was just like there's nothing to do. Like free days, you go to a mall, the same mall, but like yeah, you have a Spencer's, I guess. Oh, oh a Spencer's. All right, cop. All right, cop. All right, to be on the pod. <laughs> Special guest police officer oh man he was radaring so hard was he watch us get pulled over nah he's not leaving oh dude maybe <laughs> podcast first who's ever been like pulled detained over? by the police during a podcast I mean why are you asking me to get out of my car officer <laughs> you have no reason to believe there's anything in here it's just two guys in a stew just you- two guys two mics one stew do you have an appointment in the stew today Nah, nah. There, you have to set a formal date and time to be in the stew. You can't just be waving me aboard to come in the stew. Yeah, man. No, I got my stethoscope in the rearview mirror. We're good. No one's pulling me over. I think that's why he kind of like let us go is because he saw the stethoscope. Felt bad for me. Oh man. That's one of those frontline workers. <laughs> kind of put his hand over his heart and he's like, "I feel you, brother." So what's happened last time since we potted? You graduated? No. Did- yeah, I, I I finished that whole school thing. Yeah. It was done. Yeah, was it? Yeah, I got stupider. What's graduation like? Felt cool. Is it? It was neat. Uh, but Especially with COVID graduation. You had, like, you walked the stage, right? We, we were actually the first uh, ceremony since COVID had happened. First in-person one. Really? Where, like, the family got to go. Cause, so I was living with, like, all the people that were my age in the drumline house, and they all sure. graduated on time like normal people. Lame. And, like, that was, like, in the height of COVID. And so they had, like, a ceremony where they got to, like, dress up and walk across the stage. But nobody, none of their families got to go. And was sit. it just, like, Zoom or something? Yeah, exactly. That's like, funny. we watched it at home, like, on our TV. Mm-hmm. And so we were the first ones to actually have our families there, which was nice. That is pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was uh, it was actually, you know, a, well, a lot different than I expected for U of I. Because it's a pretty small graduation. I mean, granted, it was in, like, winter. But for, like, they break it up by college, obviously. Oh, yeah, yeah. And um, I just expected, like, the College of LAS to be a lot bigger for graduation. But I guess it was, I mean... It was What's a, LAS? Liberal Arts and Sciences. Oh, okay. It's, like, the biggest college that they have. If, like, if it doesn't fall under, like, school of, like, engineering or, like, school of, like, I know, uh, behavioral sciences or something like that, something specific, it's, like, goes under LAS. For sure. Um... But yeah, it's like it was comparable to like our high school graduation. I think it was actually shorter. That's pretty nice. They, yeah, they were pretty good about speeding it along, and um, it was cool. It was cool to walk on the stage and hear my name. And, uh, yeah, I I almost fell because my gown was too good. gown was way too long for me. Like I literally was like holding it up like a dress like, <laughs> as I walked up the steps. Um, did you get your diploma? Yeah, I did get. Is my it diploma. true that like it takes weeks to get it? Yeah, they don't give it to you on stage. Interesting. So I, I got it. I graduated in the end of December, and I got it in March. That was kind of a while. I think, like, I mean, I think there's a reasoning because, like, they got to make it, obviously, but sure. there's some sort of uh, checks that they got to do, like, just to make sure you really, really graduated, I think, if I'm not mistaken. What's, like, do you have to pay for the diploma? or No, you don't like, have to Like, if you wanted pay. another one, could you get another oh, one? Oh, yeah, like totally. Copy? Yeah. Okay. We had, uh, you remember Mully from the drumline? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He uh, gave us a copy of his master's diploma to throw darts at. No. In the drumline house, yeah. That guy was really smart. I would never have guessed. Oh, my God. He is actually so smart. He was, uh, in his freshman class, like, he set a record for, like, having the most amount of credit hours ever as a freshman at Illinois. It was, like, he got an award for it. And he came in as a freshman with, like, 90-some credit hours. And he, you need 120 to graduate. What? Yeah. He's ridiculously smart. 
Like, there's just people, like, there's students at Pi that they act all goonish because, you know, they're kids. Yeah. But I'll, like, ask them, are you, are you technically smart? <laughs> like, are you in AP classes? And they're like, yeah, I'm in honors AP. Oh, okay. Here's me, Joe Blow. Never been in an honors or AP course in my life. <laughs> Only honors course I was in was banned because you had to at junior, senior level. Yeah. Hey, though, you got the honors credit. I guess. I had count for much. I had an experience like that at Boy Scout camp when I was on staff there. Really? Because, like, obviously, like, same thing. Like, I was always pretty book smart, but a pretty goofy kid overall. So, like, when people, like, actually started talking to me and figuring out that, like, I'm not, like, uh, as dumb as I look or act. I'm still working like, on like, that. Like, <laughs> I'll never forget this realization. There was, like, this one dude. He was, like, in his 20s, and I was, like, 14, maybe 15 at the time. He's, like... So, like, Danny, like, what do you want to do with your life? I was, like, I was thinking about going to med school at the time. I still thought that that was, like, a reasonable uh, future for me. Just a casual thing. Yeah. I was, like, well, I want to go to U of I. I'm, like, I'm, I think I'm going to go for, like, you know, biological sciences or something of that sort. And it was, like, I was pretty well put together at that point. And, like, I, I just gave him, like, my whole, like, life uh, life's goal. And he was, like, he, like, stopped and, like, look, like looked around. And he, and he, like, called over his friend. He's, like, Jake. You're Danny Smart? <laughs> Made me feel really good. You know that dumb kid? He's like, he's Not dumb. He's like really smart. So yeah, I completely understand what you mean. Yeah, it's just like you would never assume that. Yeah, wait till he gets to college and then life hits him like a ton of bricks. Yeah, because on the flip side, people look at me like, oh, he's in school for nursing. Must be kind of smart. No. <laughs> dumb as a sack He's of still bricks, in man. school at 24? He must be really smart. He just must <laughs> be passionate about it, man. Good for him. Not letting anything keep him down. I totally just got Dr. Pepper on your laptop. Dude. Listen, listen. It's all part of the... I took a screenshot, too. What? Listen, listen. It's all a learning process. It's not my fault. Oh. I eked on your laptop. I guess that comes with mobile stew. Listen, it's a learning process. It's the first time. You can't hold it against me. Oh, so that's what's up with me. I graduated and uh, I work a big boy job now. Yeah, that's impressive. It's I never tell people you have a big boy job. First, they ask me what you do and I can never tell them. I just, I don't know. I got one of the, I got one of those real adult jobs where you don't really know what you do, but you do it for 40 hours a week. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I know he works like three jobs in the one job. It's weird, but he makes real money. Yeah, it's nice. It actually has nothing to do with what I got my degree in, which is pretty funny. But, I mean, that's usually how it goes for most adults in, in America. Yeah. It's like, well, I forget what the actual number is, but there's, like, studies done on it that, like, a grand majority of, uh, like, people who get careers, like, after they graduate is not in what they studied no because most bachelors are just super niche yeah it's very very and like to get a master's you really got to know what you want to do it's even more niche yeah niche but uh yeah it's fun and all but what are you up to so what's new with you friend yeah still in school man so the same yeah like literally is there anything different i, I taught this winter did i you, guess did you get a haircut since the last time we potted I've... funny you ask dude no i haven't been growing it out for two years, man. It's getting a little gross. It's not getting a little gross. It's been a little gross. It's and it's been that way for the better part of two years. Probably about more than a year and a half. Yeah, like you know, a little bit more than a year and a half. Better part of two years, we'll say. Yeah, man. I'm just I've been growing it until I graduate. So another uh, semester and then it's gone. What if you never graduate? I can't cut my hair. You don't know that that'll happen. What if? What if like? If something happens preventing you what from... What if I die? What if you lose your legs and you can never walk across the stage and then they prevent you from graduating because you can't, walk, can't across walk across the stage. the stage? And they're like, sorry, bud, rules are rules. You know what they were when you signed up to go to school here. You remember that kid from Providence who had the surgery? Where are you going with this? Okay. Um, the kid in the wheelchair. Are you talking about... Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. not, not going to say his name, but yeah. I don't remember his name, if I'm being quite honest. I remember he was like... He was shorter. His name was Ryan. Sure. Very um, nice guy. I just remember, like, his family, he had a surgery because he had something going on. The doctor messed up. Big payout. Oh, yes. I com I completely forgot that's why he was in a wheelchair. Yeah, like, he was walking, I think, my freshman year. Wheelchair for three years. At graduation, his graduation, he walked. He walked across the stage. You know, Which was I really impressive. Especially because, like, he had never walked before, like, in around the school, right? No, I had never seen him. Walk. I had never seen he, him either. No, his freshman year because he played, like, soccer and things. Oh, that's right. Yeah. God. He was, like, active. And then, yeah, I got put in a wheelchair at, I guess, 14, 15. I wonder what that surgery must have been. Something with his spine. But, yeah, I heard he got a big payout. And to be fair, he should. He, yeah, as you should. <laughs> Jesus, though. Yeah. Yeah, that was my transition of walking across the stage. 
Hey, I, uh, you heard uh, a very handsome man yelling for you when you walked across the stage. Oh, man. That time. I just and, and Father McGrath saying, sounds like you have a fan base. Yeah, thanks. He said that? Yeah. He didn't say anything to many people. He said something to me. And I really didn't want to be on his radar. It's <laughs> really funny. My thought was, man, I'm going to have detention. Like, I'm going to have to come here and volunteer to get my diploma, aren't I? Because they hold the diploma. Yeah, I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, that's like the threat. Like, if someone's stupid at graduation, they'll hold your diploma. Even though it's not you being stupid, Yeah, they'll do it because of it. That's your... the other thing. College graduation, rowdier. Really? More rowdy. And we we had, like, a graduation with, like, people were getting their masters and their doctorates. Oh, wow. The rowdiest. Good for them. Like, damn right you should be. That's fucking cool. Like, the family or the person? The family. Okay. The family. Like, there was one. It's like a... Uh, African American family getting her, she was getting her doctorate, and they like, they wouldn't let the person announce the next name. They just kept going. Really? It was, it was awesome. It was actually incredible. Everyone was like laughing. It was so funny. Like, Even like the announcer long? was like laughing. How like long between. It was like, first name, last name. Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Woohoo! Yeah! And they try to like speed it along. So they, mm-hmm. so they're trying to say, and you're graduating with a degree, doctor's degree in whatever college. But like they're still they going. just kept going, and so she didn't read the name, and it was like maybe a full minute of just the family going, "That's right, that's what I'm talking about." You showed them, and just like stuff like that. Oh, it was, it was yeah, fantastic. Man, to be fair, like you earned that shit. Yeah, I would too, dude. Like hopefully I go back for my master's at some point yeah. down the road. But yeah, when I do that, oh man, I'm getting Damn copies right. of that. I was, uh, my dad got his master's when I was, like, 10. So. I didn't know your dad had his master's. Both my parents have, my, have their master's. I didn't know that. Yeah, in business. Okay. It's called, a uh, it's called an MBA, not an NBA. It really confused me for a while. Dad's playing in the NBA? Wow, what team? Who did he get drafted by? Uh, uh, Speaking of which, home team in the playoffs. How about them apples? We actually got a win, too. Yeah, that was impressive. No one saw that coming. I, I said that getting a win against the Bucks in this series would be our our championship this year. Yeah. Like, we, we did it. Like, we have nothing else. Like, this is our mountain. Yeah. <laughs> past this, is just a bonus. We've broken Giannis's spell of beating us. This is 2017. How many years is that? 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Five years. You really had to count that out? Like, yeah. one by one? Yeah. You can't just... You don't know that it's 2022? And so, I've 20... had this conversation with Vivian, right? About, like, the months... <laughs> And how they're all associated with numbers. Months, yeah. Because you know the 1 through 12? Yeah. I can't figure it out. But, uh, like, if you tell me a number, I can't associate that with a month. And she thinks I'm crazy for it. I mean, like, I get that. Like, I have to use my fingers numbers, January, numbers February. Are, so it's like, it's a mental thing, like, in your head, right? You just, like, the numbers to the words thing. It's Right? Like, synesthesia, you mean? No, 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 no. It's like, you just can't make the connection that, like, oh, 2 means February. Yeah, I just can't do that. Like, I know that one because it's my birth month, and I know yeah. December's 12 because it's the end. Yeah. But, like, 11, 9... I guess I know nine because it's September. <laughs> Why do you know nine? Um, you know, but uh, like the rest of them, I just I don't know. Seven, no clue. <laughs> I have to count it Why? out. Seventh month. What happened in the seventh month? Well, let's think about the holiday. Well, July. July. Fourth of July. That's, that's seven, July. Seven four. And then know, there's also seven eleven, which is in July. Didn't know that. Every time it pops up, I'm like, all oh, right, it's seven eleven day. You know, Independence Day. That movie? The movie. That was in July. Seventh month. Okay, okay. That's why they named the holiday. Yeah. Who was in it? Was that Bruce Willis or Vin Diesel? No. Okay. Cool. The guy from Jurassic Park. Mel Gibson? <laughs> oh, don't mind my raspy voice. I, I'm, I, I, I'm, uh, I think I have liquid in my lungs. And I think I definitely do. Because <laughs> I can hear it rattling when I take a breath. Man, I've been sick for like a week straight. This sucks. I had to go to clinical. Sick. Not great. Sickest on the block. Clinical. I, I was sick. Fucking at work. I was sick. In school. I was sick. I don't know any other way to be. I've been sick. Clinical. <laughs> I saw a baby born. You saw a baby's Bjorn? I saw a baby's Bjorn. Look at these flowers. Those Sorry. Are, those are some pretty dope flowers. Sorry. No. That's... A visual moment in an audio podcast. We should have set up the camera. Some sweet flowers. I'm not, I'm not even going to describe what color they are. You have to be here. You just had to be there. Anyways. Tell me about your baby Bjorn. My baby Bjorn? Um, yeah, no, it's just I walked in, and within an hour of me being there, there was a baby. 
all the tests said it was going to be a boy, came out a girl. Which is fucking... That's a medical anomaly. They got a blood test that said it was a boy. It's the first time that's happened ever. (laughs) Ever. I witnessed history. Straight up. No, one of the nurses who's like 65 or something, she's like, this is the second time I've seen that. (laughs) This is the first time and I'm 24. That's wild. Like, I just happened to be here for this. Neat. They gotta start calling, like, making calls. Like, you gotta come see this. Check this one out. Calling specialties. Tell me about other cool things that happened in your dumb uh, school. At dumb school? Um, got a professor fired. I guess I didn't get a professor fired. They just got fired. Really makes for a messy, like, back half. I don't know, man. She was just there before spring break. We came back and she was gone. It was weird. Hold up. Testing, testing, normal testing. I've never heard you speak that loud. Nine, You're nine, like, nine, oh, it's kind of hot. Nine, I don't know, man. That's a lie. You've definitely heard me speak that loud. <laughs> Highlighted right now. Like that? Like that one? Oh. oh, yeah. Oh, my God, dude. What a fucking nightmare you are. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> I am falling apart. Wait, who the hell pressed play, man? So, uh... <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> so yeah. uh yeah the mic cut out for about an hour there it was a little more than the mic cut out man the whole system failed us the whole system failed us so now we're running one mic and it's probably sounding worse but better who knows i, I mean it's definitely easier to run this way <sighs> oh I'm, man you know, am i i'm falling apart not only is the system failing i'm falling apart at the seams you really we're having a breakdown there weren't you where are we now still in indiana <laughs> really yeah we have about two and a half more hours. I think I'm done with this, man. The pit's over. The, the pit's over. Listen, I, let's go back to what you said. You never heard me speak that loudly before. You were just shouting. You were trying to do a mic test. You're like, well, I don't know why it's so hot. <laughs> You're just yelling. That's not my point. Okay, the point wasn't that I wasn't speaking loud. I definitely was speaking loud, but... I apologize for using hyperbole. You definitely have heard me speak louder. Next time I'll keep the <laughs> comparison more realistic. Yeah, dude. Try to be, uh, keep a, you know, facade of professionalism at least. So, yeah, the time we Ubered to Dayton. <laughs> I forgot what we were talking about before, but... It doesn't matter. In that hour break, I mentioned it to Danny, and he never heard the story, so... 50, I, about 50 miles ago. I wanted to save it for when the stew was back up and running. Yeah, so... So, so, so I Dayton, think it was... Your, the, 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 the mountain of your season. 2018. Pinnacle. Semis. Because we made semis that year. Oh. We wake up in the morning... We go to the Pio bus because we were still driving that. Wouldn't start. Like, just would not start, right? <laughs> as, as the Pioneer bus does. And we just didn't have a backup, so Adam said, all right, we're going to Uber. Whoever pays for the Ubers, let me know, and I'll pay you back. We took four or five Ubers there. Between all of you? Yeah. It's actually very impressive. Maybe it was more. Uber Maybe buses. some of the staff was driving as well. Sure. But yeah. It was like we came in droves. I remember being part of the first group that got there. Just like standing around. Yeah, we're like, what do we do? We don't, but there's a truck to unload, but it's only me and two other guys. They're so like, where's your director? And like, yeah. Oh, he's, he'll be here. It was crazy that like, we just all showed up in a caravan. <laughs> kind of like, you know, the first year of Nexus. Yeah, we went to oh, Dayton. Oh, man. In the caravans. The caravans. That was fun. <laughs> that was a good time. See, and see like that, like you're expecting going into the into the weekend or the week but like so you're at the housing site and Adam's like alright we're Ubering and it, like I'm pretty how, sure we were all on the bus maybe no no we hadn't gotten the bus yet but like someone was trying to get in there to warm it up and it just wasn't and, firing and, and, uh, what was the general like feeling between the members like well, he's not gonna pay us back is he <laughs> I think he did I think Mickey ended up paying for my Uber yeah and then Adam paid him back but like still just not one of those things you think you have to plan for. It's a bold thing. I mean, what else are you supposed to do, I guess? Yeah. It was, no, I'm not going to pay for this. <laughs> okay. It was just like, that's not something you ever think about. Props de- getting damaged, electronics not working, popping ahead, all common. But the Pioneer bus is known to do that. The same thing happened in 2016. It wasn't for our finals, but it was for semis, I believe. That's when we had to hitch a ride with Andrew. I do remember hearing about that. Vivian's told me about it. Yeah, I know. I wasn't on that bus because I was in uh, Devin's pimp van. 
which was an experience in itself, but, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so that, that Pioneer bus, that Pioneer bus was wild. Uh, it's just so old. And, like, Roman drove a couple times. I don't Roman, know if that was 17 Roman or 18. was still driving in, in, in 18? I don't remember Roman driving in 17. Then he was there in 18. Because... We, it was probably like Indy or something. He was not involved with us whatsoever. He just drove the bus that one time. On the way back, we were supposed to get back on probably like Saturday night. We got back on Sunday morning, 4 a.m., and had to unload. <laughs> we had to take so many pit stops because <laughs> Roman got his knee done. Oh, no. <laughs> so he had to pull over to stretch it. That's not. I'm not laughing at Roman, but like that's just like so like typical. Like, like it makes sense for where we're at. <laughs> it just it just makes sense. Like and like there's parents that are waiting there because not everyone can drive. So like parents are waiting to pick up their kids, 4 a.m. 4 a.m. And then we have to unload. Oh my god. Yeah, that's that's tough. That was whack. I Roman, I it wasn't Roman in 17 because. It was that dude who ended up getting us a penalty for semis or for prelims. Are we trying to not say his name or something? I don't remember his oh, name. Oh, Bobby. Bobby? Like, Bonslater? Yeah. He's the no. one that got us the penalty with the trailer. It was the bus. Pretty sure it was the bus because, like, it was the big guy who was always late waking up. It was terrible. He wasn't the one that got us the penalty. I know it was Bobby that got us the penalty because the WGI guy said, you need to move it, and he said no. And we got a fucking penalty. That, was that Bobby? Yeah. And it's proven. If we didn't have that penalty, we would have made semis. Wow. Would not have made finals, I mean, but we would have made semis. That's whatever. But it's I forgot the, about that guy with the little hat. I could. I I was under the impression the whole time it was the guy with the little hat. <laughs> <laughs> what a funny way to describe him. The big guy it's with the little the, hat. It was a big guy with the little hat who was always waking up late. I remember the whole. <coughs> I forgot about that. Standing outside. Yeah. Like waiting to get on the bus. <laughs> like we're just waiting on the bus driver. Didn't he fall asleep in his room or something? Yeah. Like he woke up and then he just went back to bed on accident. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, what a time! Oh my god! And, and in sixteen, it was Roman driving us, and it was like the, the tales of Roman like turning left on red. <laughs> what? <laughs> Roman, you can't do that, <laughs> huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> All right. Okay, he was, Roman. <laughs> he started driving before the red light was invented. Yeah, yeah, I think so. To be fair, but uh, where's my phone at? Phone man? away, man. We're not doing that shit here. We're, 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 we're already a stone professional as is. My hand's getting tired. Too many cords. I'm about... To, oh, God. <laughs> this is just a mess, man. I'm about to scream. I'm having, like, a fever dream where I'm tangled in a web. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Uh, what else interesting is happening? Uh, we got warning high cube in front of us. See that? Hall and cube. Hall and cube. That's a throwback. You used to use that as a bit for ATN because we had to move boxes. I know that was one of the bits I liked. Yeah, Hall and Cube. Because that's a that's an offense reference. It is. That's ah. when they found out Nelly didn't like clowns. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, forgot about that because I didn't really watch like the whole last some rough seasons. seasons. I mean, like I I know him, but like. If I'm just watching it to, like, you know, have it on in the background, I want the, the cream of the crop. It's too cold, man. You have to turn off that air conditioning. It, you're, you breathe so heavy, man. <laughs> it's like I'm sitting in a mouth. It's just <laughs> wet. It's yeah, wet heat Sorry, man. Here. I can't breathe through my nose. So I, don't, don't fucking call me a mouth breather, man. It's an issue. Yeah, I know it's an issue. I'm here. I'm living it. Fuck you and your stuffy air. Who the hell pays attention to that? This air is stuffy. You, you can cut this air with a knife and stack it in the corner. It's something my dad says. I never said that. You said that just now. No, man. It's what you're thinking. You're implying it because you think this air is thick or something. You were implying that thing my dad says. <laughs> that thing you didn't know? Yeah. Stop implying it. Oh. God. 28 more miles on this road. 155 more miles on this fucking journey. <laughs> I can't stand this. This is this is hell. That billboard knew what it was talking about. So like on your trips to X, because I know you would carpool with Corey and shit, or like meet someone up. Yeah. What was this part of the journey like? Honestly, like would you and Corey just talk the entire time? Well, it was a lot of uh, like.
like just a lot of listening to music honestly Corey really influenced my music taste a lot at that time it was my freshman year so like I I was like listening to uh like stuff from high school which was uh I can't even remember it was like you know of mice and men scary monsters and nice sprites Sk- yeah skrillex and like dead mouth five but ed gomez playing the tom toms damn yeah, right notable playlist a lot of just a lot of electric music and uh stuff I can't really tolerate nowadays so it's like Corey showed me uh Corey showed me what did he show me he showed me a lot of uh rap and hip hop he showed me Kid Cudi really like I, I listened to Kid Cudi as a kid like day and night it was like sure. my shit like in the sixth grade as it was for everyone but uh he showed me my favorite album of Kid Cudi which was Indie Kid and that he was like describing to me like the how not how Kid Cudi makes the music, but, like, just, like, the soundscapes, how he uses, like, every, you know, tone of frequency. Like, he's got his low ends, like, constant throughout the song, and he makes sure, like, you get the high frequencies, too, and it really, like, makes it so satisfying to listen to. Having known Corey, I just can't see him listening to Kid Cudi. That's not, crazy. It's not, like, it's re- it's very not mainstream Kid Cudi. It's, like, okay. his tw- that album came out in 2013, and it's not, like, Man on the Moon or anything like that. It's, uh, it's good. It's not something you can listen to all the time. Okay. It's not like his uh, weird album either, his dark album, where he was trying to be like Nirvana. But it's uh, it's so good. I'm surprised. You know, like, you know some of the songs off it. Unfuckwittable. Sure. I'm sure if you played it, I'd know it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he showed me uh, a lot of rap. He showed me, remember... Uh, a lot of Afro Man, that, like, freestyle rap. Oh, yeah, he that showed me that dope. one. Yeah. And... It, it, that's what a lot of our rides consisted of was just talking about music and then a lot of like talking about his like drum corps experience honestly because I was like I was still very much a tot at that time and I was like wanted to hear all about his years with Blue Stars and the prior year he had with X that was not a great year with X yeah the 2017 show it was just like the show because, I mean, people didn't get it, didn't make sense, and especially with, like, you know, Pulse had such a good show that year, and that's what, like, they were competing with. It's not really on the same level. It, the show needs to be easy to get, at, on the surface, at least. And it was a good show, like, musically, but, like, I could get, like, why it was their lowest-scoring show ever. I was thinking was about... Was it really? That's, it, like, a fact? It was their lowest-scoring show since they had got, like, seventh the first time they were in World. Okay, that's fair. Or something like that. Could be getting that wrong, but... Um, definitely the lowest they'd scored in like a long long time and it's like you know they I was thinking about this you know you're like your history like your track record's pretty good when like you get sixth and we're like everyone's like damn like actually fell off I was I was like reminiscing over our, the judge tapes from 18 and a lot of them had the motif of X is back like really where'd we go it's like we had one year where we got like sixth and then, like, the year before, they got fourth, and, like, the year before that, they got second, and the year before that, they got second, and the year before that, they got third, and the year before that, they got first. So it's like, where did, where did where, they go? Where did they exactly did they fell off other than that one year that, that they, you know... One bad show. They still got sixth in the world. <laughs> I don't know. But, yeah, that's, like, pretty tough, uh... Pretty tough flex, if you ask me. What did we say X was slated at last night? Fifth? They were in third. They were in... No, they weren't. Yeah, they yeah, were. they were. They were. No, those skiers were in fifth. Do you think they're gonna jump up at all? X? Yeah. Yeah. I. I maybe not today. I think the placings, standings, pretty much stay the same from prelims to finals, unless somebody had like a big penalty or a really really bad run. But that doesn't really happen at that level. Like a run was so bad that you'll, like, be deducted like a lot of points. It's you're pretty consistent at that level. Yeah. But um, yeah, and it'll be for the jump from semis to finals, will be the where the jump is because that's exactly what happened in uh, what was it fifteen. Because the amount of uh, the show wasn't exactly like crazy or like meant to be like pumping up or energetic, but it was like that because they were so much louder than every other group that year because they had more bodies on the floor. That was the year they had like 11 snares and like seven bases and six quads and like yeah. seven marimbas. So, like, that was like Tim's like goal that year was just to be louder than everyone else, and it played off in the finals because they were in fourth in prelims and semis and they jumped to second for finals. So in eighteen, when you were like more part of the visual cast, yeah, how do they get you guys to like perform? What is like the motivation? They say like, guys, this is what we're going for at this moment. Or are they just, or does everyone just have a, have an understanding of like, let's try this out? There was more of that uh, visual or like uh, 
visual direction in, in 19, honestly, because 18 was, uh, <laughs> they just kind of let us, like, do what we wanted, and then they kind of shaped it. Like, okay. So, performing wasn't hard, because, like, the show was so fun and energetic, it was easy to be yeah. pumped up and amped up. They, a lot of the times, it, like, I've definitely told you this before, but it would just be, like, I was, like, screwing around in rehearsals, like, just doing things you didn't, like, you honestly wouldn't fly anywhere else, and then them being, like, yeah, like, let's try to incorporate that into the show. Like, crowd surfing Alex, that was, like, always, like, a bit that from the beginning of the season that, like, oh, Alex has this, like, giant guitar solo, like, let's just lift him up for now because we don't have anything. Like, we're just all That was standing. a bit? Yeah, because nobody oh. else, the whole thing, like, during that part, like, nobody else had anything else going on. Nobody's playing anything. And so, at that point in the season, which was, like, December camp, Christmas camp, that we were putting it on the floor, the Tims just had us, like, stand around Alex for the solo. And then they're like, okay, guys, like, now, like, you get excited, like, you're at a concert, like, you're like, woohoo, like, and so, like, the first drop of that was, like, there's, like, video from, like, the extra access behind the scenes of, like, us, like, yeah, just, like, on the ground in front of us, and, like, that was, like, it's pretty lame, like, if you're, like, up in the box. Yeah, it doesn't read that far. Exactly. So, I mean, it it, it, it developed to crowd surfing Alex in the same night, and, like, it just, it stayed that, that way the whole season. Of like, okay, crowd surf him now. Spin him in a circle, and like everyone's gonna be running around him, and then there's gonna be like visual accents on the like on the outskirts of it. How yeah. long was the singing in for the show? In that intro, because <laughs> you sent me one video where like people are mumbling. Yeah, it was uh, like is that a weekend or is that like a month? I think it was the uh, like since the beginning of the season they wanted it to be sung. Like that's how it was pitched to us is that it'll be like. 2011-esque where they like all put down their instruments and sung like the last part of the show yeah stand by me whatever the fuck it was but yeah so it was in for a good long while I don't think we ever performed a show with it because like they said the singing was cheesy I think and I appreciated them to be able to be like alright it's just not gonna work yeah, like that, that early on mm -hmm. and they found something that worked a lot better like I like the singing the singing voices uh, samples we had and you guys know who did the samples, or...? I have no idea. Okay. Because, yeah, when you send me that, I'm like, this just doesn't work. It doesn't fit the rest of the tone of the show. Yeah, especially when we're, like, not projecting, and they're all, like, dancing and stuff. Yeah. It's a very cool visual show, though. I told, you know we got 100 in visual effect, right? I think you might have told me that? Yeah. That's still crazy. The guy that never marched got 100. I... I would have thought with music effects we would have gotten like a hundred and but we, we scored like nine fives, ninety-nine fives in those. Pretty good show. Highest scoring second place show ever still. I don't think that's true anymore. But up Bro to that point. Because Broken City it had broken their first place record, so and then I think the second place was also okay. higher. But yeah, it was uh it might still be in the top ten highest scoring shows of all time. Isn't touch still up there or something? Yeah, we sky we scored higher than touch. Tough. It's tough. Uh, Alinea's the highest highest scoring fourth place show. Who? What? Alinea? Alinea. I think you said Olivia. Alinea. I don't know, man. Just something about that show. Like, if you have the concept explained to you, it's a really cool show. But the average viewer yeah. wouldn't get it. But, like, yeah. So, I get that. I think that's where, like, the downfall was. But, like, it had, like, some of the coolest moments that I think... Like, we'll see for a while. Yeah, like, that strawberry tomato section, innovative. Like, how, 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 like what are you smoking to f think of that? Right? It's incredible. Like, that's... You don't just think of that. That's something you say as a joke. Yeah. There was a lot that was, uh... Like, I don't know, people just didn't, like, make... They get the connections, I guess. Yeah. That were being made. The heads with the mesh heads, or the drums with the mesh heads, they have bottom heads? Yeah. Did they have like the actual? I don't think they had. Bottoms? I don't think they had snares, but I I think they were just mesh bottom heads too. Okay. Or maybe just junk heads. Honestly, I don't even remember. I don't think they ever like spent time tuning them. No, I don't. I didn't assume they did, but I was just curious. Like, do you just keep the stock heads on there, or do you put MX? Maybe they were just stock heads. I don't know. I never got a close look at them. <coughs> I never. They they would like practice on them every now and then, but I got to play on their snares a few times. Very fun. Very, very good feeling drum. <laughs> and then what was that bit where like everyone brings in their old uniforms? What do you mean? Oh, I don't, I honestly don't know. Like it seemed like there was a weekend where people just did it. 
Yeah, I like it's happened. It happened both times I was there. Where like in eighteen, it was just a weekend where the people who brought who marched blue coats twenty sixteen, and still had their uniforms brought them in and like can <laughs> let me put it on. <laughs> me and Cole it was really funny, and we like rehearsed a block with them on. <laughs> You're fucking nasty though. Um, like, that's that speaks a lot about that ensemble. That people are just good enough to be in blue coats. That yeah, they all communicate. Let's bring our uniforms in. Yeah, and they still have their uniforms. Mm-hmm. And then in 17, I don't know what, or 19, I don't know what it was, but, like, there was a dude who brought, like, the Phantom Regiment Shaco, like, there was dudes who brought the blue coats, like, little, like, bowler caps, uh, T-Bone bought the, brought the suit of Shaco, um, there was everything, I was, like, a ton of stuff, and, yeah, actually, and that was, so Cam brought his, uh, Carolina Crown Shaco, I have a picture in that, it was the same day Philip. Uh, Phil brought his uh, rope drum. So, like, do they get to keep those Shakos, or are they just, like... I think so, because, like, they're, like, the one-off uniforms, and, like... That's fair. Those Shakos have a little Carolina Crown, like, badge on it, and it uh, says the year on it. Oh, interesting. And it, the Carolina Crown, like, logo on it, so it's not like they could sell it to somebody, to fair. somebody else. I'm curious if I'll see any old uniforms of, uh, of ours, or any old shows. I think someone's wearing the Walls show this year. Really, that's a that's a uniform that's gotten around. Yeah, I don't think the fifteen uniforms in uh, rotation anymore. I'd like to know what happens to like all the upper world class old uniforms because like you really don't see them until like years later. Like, didn't we see the touch uniform? Yeah. At, like indie. Yeah, I- I've seen the touch uniform like a few times. I've seen the inspired uniforms. You saw the inspired uniforms? Yeah. The uh, some high school had them in eighteen. And, and, like, it was really funny because, like, we were, like, walking in as they were walking out. And everyone was like, huh? Wait a sec. Wait a minute here, guys. Their kids are going to be wearing your uniforms? Maybe. <laughs> Shit. That's weird. Weird to think about, but, I mean, it's, like, the same amount of time. Yeah. Uh, I, like, I, I don't know, like, if anyone who has, like, of all the worlds is, is a stage uniforms. Like, I don't know, like, where those would be at. We did have to return them. Oh, you had to. Oh, that sucks. Otherwise, I'd still have it. <laughs> Otherwise, we could have paid for it, but, like, honestly, what am I going to do with it? Yeah. I mean, that's, like, drum corps stuff that, like, I've taken over the years. I look at it on a shelf, like, I don't know if I really needed this. Yeah. It's, like, it's it's a nice memento, but it's it's a lot of space. Yeah. At the end of the day. And, I, and I'm a person who accumulates a lot of junk and things. Mm-hmm. Like, I have an exit sign from... Legends 19 that I found on the floor. I'm like this is funny. I'm gonna I'm gonna take this. Yeah. And I was just in my house. Like I, I don't think I need this. A picture of somebody's gym coach from a school in Alabama <laughs> in my wallet still. But yeah, it's fun fun band times. Very fun. How much time were we at? We're up, coming up on 45 minutes. I think that's a solid episode. You're a solid episode. Maybe if we're feeling spicy throughout the ride, we can get another one in. Maybe. Maybe on the way back, even. Maybe on the way back. Play it by ear. All right, well, we'll see you in another, like, year and a half. See you when we have kids. Yeah. (laughs) See you when uh, they're wearing the Inspire uniforms. Maybe when something interesting happens in our life, we'll make another one. Yeah. All right. Bye.